Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the Vol Ages, I would show no here, about to give you the daily vlog for Monday, July 19th. And today we're going to read some comments from my MacBook Pro outside. We got our trusty Coca Cola in hand. So let's get everything set up and we're going to read some comments for you guys. So starting off our comments, Vince and Shono back together again, yes. Seeing Vince and Shono back together for the first time since October of 2019 was awesome. And I'm hoping it's not the last time. Now that COVID has slowed down, and now that both of our schedules have opened up, because I was working at Kroger pretty much every weekend, all the way through April of 2020 when I got fired, I wasn't able to see Vince, and then obviously COVID hit, and that kind of ruined things for over a year. But now that things are starting to get back to normal, hopefully things will get better on that front. Dashi also says that the Money in the Bank women's match was horrible, and it was. However, I do like that they went with a different outcome, and the same holds true for the men's Money in the Bank. I like that a different person gets an opportunity, and if Nikki Cross gets an opportunity to become women's champion, well, I'm not against that. Although at the expense of Charlotte Flair, I don't know. I think it would be better suited for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I wouldn't mind if she took it away from the SmackDown Women's Champion and left Charlotte Flair alone. Carrie Martin loved the South Park imitations. Hey there, Billy. We're all vaccinated. I'm going to go to the bar and get some pussy. The stream sucked big time, and we saw that during the Men's Money in the Bank. When I re-watched it after getting done with the Vincent Shono show last night, I didn't have a problem with the stream, so I'm guessing they need more bandwidth. And she was happy to see Big win i think it's a great opportunity booster him into the main event i'm hoping it's not used to take over the raw world champion i think that's what's going to happen goldberg and bobby lash are going to get into a five minute war biggie's going to cash in on them and the whole new day comes back together again why do i have a feeling that's going to be outcome Correct me if I'm wrong. Or maybe Big E will cash in on Bobby Lashley. But I have a feeling that Big E's not going to hold the contract through SummerSlam. We'll see. It's a cool concept, but it went really bad last year. Asuka was handed the title, and Otis lost the briefcase to The Miz and took the belt off Drew McIntyre. So Money in the Bank, I think, did more harm than good last year. But we'll see. So Rob Russell would like to have one, and I can pick it up, but how much? I don't know what he's exactly talking about because I didn't re-watch that video. I'll have to do that and comment directly to that. Kiss says, AEW, it's clown show. I can't watch them. Their moveset, more fake and not hurting like WWE. AEW sucks. See, that's kind of how I feel about AEW as a whole. There are some bright spots, and it is worth watching, even if it's to watch the botches. But you can always just watch AEW botches for that. So Dashi also said, I started this morning. I was just lazy in the sunshine all week. Yesterday was a heat wave. I ended up getting sunburns on my arms. I've got a lot of sunburns. I probably will not be saying outside but i wanted to do that while reading the comments since i usually read the comments inside and not outside do the flashpoint batman for the weekend mandy rose was traded by someone for raw joe will win the belt then cross joins the main roster gets barry and then ends up in a tag team division new theme short name released the next few years i hope to be a mega star just like keith lee who i haven't seen in months yeah i have a feeling that carrying cross is going to lose the title of samoa joe i don't know why i have a feeling they're gonna have a match and that's what's gonna happen and yes it has been a while since world of warcraft even vince and i have noticed that depends on how i like new world if i'll play that or if i'll play wow i do want to play some monster hunter stories later today i've been having so much fun on monster hunter rise with Vince and Chris that I've just been playing that. I think I'm going to play some Monster Hunter stories until Vince gets on, if he gets on before 9. So Mayhem on pay-per-view is perfect. Well, I still haven't played Mayhem in a while. I did get a decent amount of viewers playing Mayhem, and I think that's why I didn't give a shit about doing Injustice content during 2017, 2018, 2019 when I was playing Mayhem full-time. Could I get back into the game? Probably not. I'm enjoying Marvel Contest of Champions more. Shit, man, eventually we'll learn how to sex his girlfriend. He still hasn't quite grasped that yet. And Rob Russell said, camping was good, only a weekend trip. Hey, sometimes a weekend is all you need. If I wasn't hanging out with Vince, possibly on the 30th, 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, I would totally be up for camping. However, if I have an opportunity to see Vince, I'm going to take it. And I have been getting Sundays off a lot, so there's options as well. Dashi saying sideways, front ways, back ways. We saw Curtis back in the server slowly. So he might make his way back. We'll see. If he wants to come back, we'll welcome him back with open arms. Or as long as Savage Wolf is in the alliance and I have somebody to swap out. Dashi promised not to spoil the Black Widow movie and he delivered on that, so thank you very much. He's also enjoying the new update, getting the events done before it ends. 
and he wanted to talk about Raw and Jimmy Uso. Yeah, Jimmy Uso's incident and the fact that nothing happened to him and he gets rewarded with the SmackDown tag belts. Yeah, they just don't give a shit. They really don't care. I think they just wanted to get the belt off the Mysterios. My plan is to get my five stars to rank three and get four stars maxed out. Jubilee is the base arena. No clue on future yet. I'll keep in touch on Twitter. I did get a copy of Jubilee. I did not go for the dupe because I had to work every single day last week, but getting Jubilee was awesome. Jeremy Cunning said I was correct on fourth child. My goodness. Congratulations again on the newborn. I'm glad to see it. Uh, Drew Hello says Earth 2 Grundy is a good card. He's all right. I think he's better in a support role with Earth 2 the Flash and Killer Frost. Dashi also said the Nike shoes are cool. Nike fan 308 hashtag Mama Shono, which is what I put in the ice cream daily vlog. And Nike fan loves the vlogs. Rob Russell would have liked a birthday shout out three weeks ago. It shows how long it's been since I actually read comments. And these are the ones that I haven't responded to. Let's see about ones that I haven't responded. To. So Retro Boy once said that he would kill for Vince's metabolism. John aka Savage Wolf also has the same metabolism as Vince. They can eat whatever and not even put the weight on it. It's amazing. Now Rob Russell also said that he's going to skip Space Jam 2. First one was good. Trailer for the second one looked awful. That's the difference between the generation gap between Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Rob Russell and I grew up with Michael Jordan where somebody like Dashi probably grew up more to LeBron James and might have enjoyed it more. So Rob Russell liked the vlog intro that was a little bit different and yes i did put in some more food porn kind of in the beginning and some other stuff and also beth coming in the driveway was a nice spin i think that's a good way to start daily vlogs that involve her retro boy also said that scared the crap out of me where did the pole come from happy it wasn't more serious yeah it looked like no physical damage so she didn't go fast enough cause any damage so that's a plus jeremy's baby is a boy pastor for life said ups literally came as you were doing the vlog yes that was when i got monster hunter stories too four o'clock ups usually shows up to my house and I'm usually happy when they do. So Nike Fan 308 said that he's going to be buying the OLED Switch. I heard that the old Switch had about 280 nits, 290 nits, and the second generation Switch is like 306. I'm kind of curious to see what the OLED Switch is like. I heard it, the original Switch does not work very well in the sunlight. However, as you guys can see by my MacBook Pro, 500 nits, you can actually see it pretty good out in the sun. MacBook Pro you can actually use out here. It's a pretty sunny day out right now. So Pastor for Life said, finally part of the Alliance, thank you for accepting me, Shono. You're welcome. Just make sure you join Quest earlier because I had to yell at you at like three o'clock in the morning to join Quest. We can't have that slowness, especially while people like Mr. L Gamer are not around, while people like Nevermind are not in the Alliance to cover the slack. So Pacius Radicus said, do you hear about Subway's tuna being fake? I kind of figured that because the chicken is kind of fake too. I prefer Tubbies because it seems like their meat is more natural. And Kerry Martin said, looks like a great time when we went to Dave and Buster's to actually play some games. And I'd love to do it again, especially on a Wednesday when it's half off. So if we can get everybody together, that would be great. Rob Russell said, we'll definitely make a date to go to Dave and Buster's. Oh, baby. Well, can we hold hands? Can you hold my arm too, sir? I would love that. Wednesday obviously is the best day because it's half off games, but I can do whenever. And Sundays are pretty reliable since I'm always off on Sundays. Dashi says, I hope you get the Corvus card next time also great job on overseer i got him this morning i was last night but i was very tired and had to sleep early so i did get a four star overseer i did start farming for four star hercules i'm over two million the so retro boy one also said those tens look way too tight you look like more on 11 i'm 13 myself yeah i think i'm more on 11 i can fit in 10 and a half but i think 11s are a little bit more comfortable all right so unfortunately i have to do the rest of this daily vlog inside because it got too hot outside my camera turned off and my MacBook, as you can possibly hear, is starting worrying. So we're going to do this inside. So Jeremy Cunning said, Mama Shona laying the smack it down on Beth. I don't know. I think Beth is a really nice person, really good hearted. I think she's just going through some stuff with her personal life, and she's not having the greatest of time. And I think she's got more negative than positive going on right now. So I think that's why she's a little bit more upbeat and a little less willing to do stuff. But hey, we'll get through it. We'll work on some compromises, and we'll see what we can make work. Beth is not a bad person. She's not a user. She doesn't use me for money. She's just got her own life. And it is hard working two jobs. I think that's part of the reason why she wants me time is because she works two jobs. Whereas if I work two jobs, I might want a little time for myself too. So maybe that's something I have to consider as well. So Rob Russell's birthday had already passed three weeks ago. Rob was broke. Hey, I would have done something with Rob for his birthday, most definitely, especially if I knew about it. Shows how bad I am about reading comments. 
dominant, so apologies, Rob Russell. I will respond to some of these comments after I put this vlog up. Rob Russell would love to go bowling with me. I would too. Again, Sundays are a pretty good day for me. They're usually a pretty decent day for Beth as well because she only works her daytime job. So if we wanted to pull together on a Sunday and go bowling with like four or five people, I'm down for it. That's probably the best day to go bowling. I could do Saturday as well, but Saturdays I usually have to work at nine o'clock and I don't wake up until like two or three. So keep that in mind. I wouldn't be against it. Just know that my time is a little bit more limited when I have to work, but I could do Saturdays as well. And Rob Russell says phone check and SD card slots are a huge necessity in my opinion. Stupid that they removed them. Yes, I agree. And maybe they feel they're features that are not commonly used in a phone, but you know what? I use a headphone jack occasionally. The SD card is way more important for me. And I don't think that offering higher storage is a suitable replacement. If you have one terabyte of storage, you could probably get around an SD card, but don't charge $300 more for it than a 128. That's just greedy. And Jeremy Cunnings liked how Mama Shono missed the sideways reference. Absolutely. So Dashi wants to buy a Nintendo Switch, and he might be interested in Monster Hunter 2. I'm sure there's other games that he's interested in as well. And Dashi says that he loves the good news. Shono, keep up the work. Thank you. Absolutely got to hustle. And Rob Russell says, congrats, bro. Stack that cash. You know it, man. I'm barely touching my bank account. It's been going positive every two weeks. We'll take it. And Rob Russell said, sorry to hear about my grandma. Thank you. I'm going to wrap it up because the camera is overheating on me again. Thank you all for watching this daily vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another outdoor daily vlog.